Welcome to another in the series of how-to videos looking at CAT mini hydraulic excavators. Today we're going to be looking at the stick steer mode and function on the next generation mini hydraulic excavator from Caterpillar. This feature is going to be available on every model from 301.5 all the way up to and including the 310. Now you can use the machine in the traditional way using the travel pedals and travel levers. All the functions that we show you are available on all models. That includes how to get in and out of stick steer, how to use cruise control, how to use the linkage switch positions. Okay, now we're up here into the machine and we're going to go ahead and start the machine. Every time you start the machine, the machine will start in the normal traditional way of traveling. So levers, foot pedals, that's how you'd maneuver the machine. If you want to go on the stick steer, you hit the yellow button on the left hand joystick. Once you hit that, it asks you if you want to enable joystick travel. And you're going to say yes. Once you enable it, you will see a green icon come up in the center of the monitor, letting you know that you are now in stick steer mode. In stick steer mode, you travel the machine with the left hand joystick, forward, backwards, steer the machine, and that's your stick steer. Whilst you're in stick steer mode, if you want to swing the house to look to see where the blade is to see what you're grading, you just use the roller on the left hand side. Whilst you're in stick steer mode, your right hand joystick is still live. Boom down, boom up, side by side is your bucket. And if you hit the trigger on the bottom side, you can then use the roller to operate the stick. So even though you're in stick steer, you still have full linkage movement in the right hand side. So currently we're in stick steer mode, left hand joystick, right hand linkage, and our blade lever over on the right hand side operates the blade as it would normally do. Push it all the way forward, goes into your float function. Also on top of the blade we've got your turtle and rabbit speed, and we also have a turtle and rabbit speed on your right hand joystick as well. Now if you want to change that functionality you would go into menu, say OK to machine settings, say OK to control mode and then if you scroll down you will see joystick steering mapping. We're going to say OK to that. In this screen you can be in excavator mode which is where we've been with the right hand control and the linkage or we could go down and select blade. We'll hit the home button. So now even though we're still in stick steer, the right hand is now my blade control. And to put it in the float, lean it forward, hit the trigger underneath, you're now in the float. You can go in and out of stick steer, just the yellow button, so you can go from normal, operating the machine for trenching, digging, go back into stick steer. A lot of functionality, a lot of versatility, it's going to make you more efficient, more comfortable, whole new operator experience. Another feature of stick steer is the cruise control function. Whilst you're in stick steer, you can put your travel speed forward, hit the trigger, let go, and you will continue the travel. Now, whilst in cruise control, you can steer the machine either direction, and as soon as you want to stop, you just hit the joystick. You can also put it in the con cruise control in reverse. Hit the trigger again, no hands, and you continue to travel. Once again, making the job more easier, more efficient for the operator. We hope you enjoyed that insight into the next generation stick steer feature on CAT mini hydraulic excavators. For further information, contact your local CAT dealer. Thank you for watching.